generator so far I've had for a few years. Something I wished I had done is put a front wheel on it. So I finally fabricated that up. Of course, these bigger generators, this one's 200 pounds dry, so it's about 230 wet, I guess. I did the math on it one time with the full tank of gas and oil. Um, but it does come with wheels. Obviously, it's just supported by two little um, bumpers there that sit on the ground. So you do have to lift it up. And you don't have to lift it up with the generator, but you're lifting a good part of it. And so the older I get, the more my back doesn't like to do this stuff anymore. Even rolling around the garage is sort of an annoyance. To, it makes my back uh, not feel good. So, um, just you know, this, this is something I wish I had done when I bought this generator a few years ago because it's things like this that you just continue to abuse your back over the years and then pretty soon your back says no more. That's it. And uh, that's kind of the position I'm in right now. So I'm trying to... <laughs> do things that will minimize my lifting so this wheel will allow me to roll this around on concrete as well as um, you know irregular terrain this is uh, from tractor supply it was 30 bucks I want to say it's an 8 inch it's supposed to carry 900 pounds and um, I started to get the pneumatic tire but I just hate messing with and I do you know the hand truck is always when I go to use it the tires always low and I have to air it up just to use it and I'm just tired of that kind of thing um, so this polymer wheel or whatever it is will be pretty should be pretty rugged um, the only thing this one doesn't have a brake on it so I've kind of fabricated a brake I'll show you in a minute a redneck brake um, but this frame is just angle iron here this is C channel this is uh, if you watch my trailer build videos this is what I use to support the rear ramps this C channel it's just kind of a mild C channel and so that just comes up and around um, makes sort of a little bit of a triangle sort of and then these just slide underneath the frame right here and I've drilled holes um, here and here so that those holes will go there and there and then um, that's some graded bolts that go through there and I have two bolts on each side okay just a couple of details I just welded this on all four sides on the inside here as well same thing here welded on all four sides. This was a bit of a pain to fabricate so it was the right height um, but I was able to get it to work and just welded here, 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 and here. I started to cut these off here but it's, there's no reason to cut them off. They can stay there. I don't really care too much about what this looks like but I do care more about uh, function over form. Now a couple of disadvantages of this of course is it's going to stick out away from the generator so it makes the generator longer. Also the handle isn't going to fold flat. It'll, you know, it's going to land on top of the this part right here so a little bit of a hassle for that but uh, that's just kind of the trade-off for having a tire on the front I could have put smaller casters on the front here and you know they'd be hidden and recessed and that'd be awesome or even maybe one big caster in the middle uh, but the wheel would be very small and I want to be able to roll this over bumps and you know roll it out across the property if I need to with this tire and something small like that's just going to dig into the dirt. So this this is kind of borderline. Uh, I would have rather gone with a 10 inch, something even bigger. Um, but this is about the same size as those. So you know it's I don't know. A 10 inch would definitely roll over things better. So we got the little rubber feet out. Won't be needing those anymore. Um, yeah. You know, it adds a few pounds, but <laughs> you're not lifting it. All right. Now the wheel lock. You know, I was going to buy a special bolt with a wing nut on it that was long, and then I thought, oh, I'll just buy some all thread, and then I'll weld a washer onto the top of it, and I thought, I have a bolt at home, why am I buying all thread? So, I just got a bolt, and this is, um, just 5 sixteenths. Drilled a hole right here, tapped it. So 
this is a redneck wheel lock. If I'm running the generator and I don't want it to walk away on me, I mean, that's the advantage of the rubber feet, right? It's always going to stay in position. But this will keep it from walking away on me also. And so we can just roll that in. And I can tighten it against the wheel so the wheel won't roll away. I can also loosen it just to let that work inside those um, spokes there. I guess which one. Okay, and that won't go very far. Okay. And then when I want to roll it, we'll just roll this out. Is that part of it? Now that is one thing to stick out more. And I was worried it might catch on something. It might catch on the handle there if I'm turning it trying to turn it uh, with the handle down, but I think I'm going to have control of the handle for the most part when I move it around, so. So I gave this uh, clearance so that this wheel would clear the generator head motor here, and uh, it does, you know, I can get, there's a solid inch there. So, and I could have tried to make it a little bit tighter. I was worried that the weight as this settled down and the axles back here, that this would kind of this frame would flex that way and that the wheel would kind of bend back this way. So I wanted to allow some extra room just in case that happened. Uh, so far it hasn't happened. So yeah, excellent. Now my thought about this was I wanted to weld a, instead of drilling and tapping this, my other option that I thought about was to drill a bigger hole for this same size bolt and then just weld on a 5 16 lock nut, nylon lock nut with the nylon to the outside. Problem is every time I've done that it always melts out the lock nut or most of it. So it would be longer threads, which you know my worry is if I'm rolling this around this could walk itself out and then fall out I guess. It would take a lot of turns to fall out but you know it could happen. So I uh but I think it will be okay. If I lose it, I'll just make another one. Just put a bolt in there. So it's just something that when I'm running the generator um, and I don't want it rolling away on me, you know, you could chalk the wheels or whatever too. I could have got one of these wheels with the step-on brake, and that's probably what I should have done. I should have spent extra money. Now, I can roll it around. I can roll it out to the truck. I can lift it into the truck. And it's not killing my back generator lifting bracket and this is just um, like 1 8 angle or 10 gauge angle I can't remember and then this is some little bit thicker stuff maybe 3 16 I drilled a 3 quarter maybe a 13 16 hole right there I can't remember which one it was and uh, that's for my hook um, and then just bolted it with some grade 5 bolts through here just drilled holes this is not thick metal okay so you don't want to drill big holes in it and and weaken it a lot, but I've weakened it some by drilling holes in it down there and up here. But, you know, I've lifted it probably six or seven times now with the, with the uh, crane, with the truck crane, and it's done fine. The other uh, mod that I did was this bracket here holds a really skinny battery, and you can get those from Champion. You can order them online, that battery. I was just at my Yamaha shop, local Yamaha shop, and they had this battery. And they could order the skinny one. It was going to take a week to show up. You know, I could get it faster on Amazon probably. Um, but this is the one they had during the day. And I like to support those guys whenever I can. So I thought, well, I'll just cut out this front piece and then weld it on farther out. So that's what I did. I cut it out, uh, this piece right here. And I had to move it out this way so um, this wider battery would fit. But now I have a selection. If I get the narrow battery, again, it'll still fit. If I get a wider battery and that's all I can find, um, it'll fit better too. So that's one of the mods I made that I do that I am happy about that I do like. Um, could you buy a generator this way that's more, you know, not proprietary batteries? Uh, that would be nice. Um, if every generator came with a lifting bracket, not everybody's going to hoist their generator, but some people do sometimes, and some people would like that, and some people would like a front wheel kit so they don't have to lift up the front. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I did this mod on another generator, a welder generator I had, it, um, a Hobart Champion, that's what it was, Hobart Champion 145, and it had two wheels in the back, and it was a little bit heavy, it wasn't 
I don't remember it being this heavy, but it was it was heavy too. So I welded on a frame just like real similar to this, and uh, just made kind of a square shape on the front instead of this triangle shape, and then put a swivel wheel on the front of it, and uh, that was nice for just rolling that around. Um, I ended up selling that generator welder just because I wasn't using it as a generator or a welder for that matter. So um, yeah, so I just kind of copied the same thing. Seems to be working good. roll away so maybe I would need the wheel lock after all